my talents, skills or powers, call it whatever, um, I was tested by the CIA and they just released this, the beginning of this year, they released all the secret documents of the tests they conducted on me. So I'm now extensively uh, on the CIA's official website. When they saw that I could remote view or I could do um, uh, activate telepathy, I was instilled into Mexico City for um, a few missions. One of them was to spy on the Russian embassy in Mexico City. It was quite complicated because they also got me into the Mexican White House where I met the president. And the president at that time was Lopez Portillo, made me a secret agent for Mexico's treasury. So I had very powerful credentials and I got into the embassy and then my handler, my CIA handler in Mexico City, an agent, CIA agent, asked me a very strange request. Can you bring in information about the assassination of President Kennedy? Now this, is, this happened 10 years before. I found that quite strange, but I did exactly what he wanted. So I managed to kind of wriggle myself into um, the right people. I asked questions, I used my powers, and I came to a stunning conclusion. Right. First of all, I do not believe that the CIA were involved, nor the FBI, nor Lyndon B. Johnson. What I found out was so stunning, and of course I handed my information to the CIA agent, and I wonder whether this will be revealed today. So look, uh, Yuri, obviously you, you, you've ruled out, you're saying you're ruling out the US agencies, so the CIA, the FBI, you said not Lyndon B. Johnson. I think you've said previously as well, not the KGB or the Mafia, they weren't involved. This stunning revelation, which we're hoping will come out in these papers, uh, can you give us an idea of what it might be if it's not involving those agencies, Yuri? Well, look, Ben, you can imagine that everyone from all around the world wants to know this, uh, the answer to this, and I just simply will not talk about it. If this will be revealed, it will be quite stunning. If it's going to be mentioned and uh, redacted, you know, they will have the black ink over my words, that could happen, or it might not even appear in these documents. I was very surprised at the beginning of this year that they released, the CIA released all the documents about my, my secret yeah. testing with them. So I'll, we'll just have to wait. If nothing happens, if nothing appears, I will definitely not talk about it. Well, that's it. Can you, can you understand then, Yuri, and you know that I'm a big fan of yours because I've known you for many years now. Can you understand why people watching this were going, what a load of nonsense? For heaven's sake, Yuri's just covering his back here because he's saying, if it's in there, I can talk about it. If it's not in there, I'm never going to have to talk about it, which is very convenient. Can you understand that? Of course I can. But listen, you wanted the interview. You invited me. And um, this is what I, I wrote. On my Facebook page, I, I said exactly these things. I had no idea that it'll rumble into something so big. And, um, you know, every, all the newspapers and TV stations are calling me day in, day out to find out what I discovered. And the reason it is stunning and the reason I cannot reveal it if they will not, uh, you know, bring it into public domain is because the ramifications of what I know um, can be even today um, kind of shake the political outlook of what is happening today. So that's, that's what I will say yeah. and that's where I stop. I met um, Jackie because she had a part in editing a book for Doubleday, at that time in New York, a publishing company, which was written about me, called Uri. It was written by a doctor, a scientist called Andra Puharic, who had links to the CIA. Jackie pressed on me 
to tell her when I, when I rolled out and told her that I've been in the embassy there and I met people and I gathered information, she wanted to know the truth. And I told her. So she knew what I discovered. So, so just, just, to, just to clear this up, basically you did tell Jackie what you discovered. You don't believe it was a conspiracy or the conspiracy that was put out there, so none of the agencies that we've talked about. Do you believe that Lee Harvey Oswald was a, was a lone wolf? It would seem from what you're implying, uh, Yuri, that he wasn't acting alone. There was something bigger going on. I believe that there was something bigger going on. He was the person who pulled the trigger no doubt. There are so many conspiracy theories out there. It's unbelievable. You, you all know how many books were written about this subject, how many, how many movies.